This is now the second homicide in the city in less than 48 hours. Early Sunday morning, 24 year old Gregory Carrington was gunned down in the middle of a street after leaving a club called The Spot. Beaumont police say Carrington tried to get away and collapsed in the parking lot of Honey's Drive In, a gas station on Concord Road. Beaumont police quickly arrested 23 year old Andre Williams II for the murder. 12 News reporter Kayla Shote was there as officers took him off to jail. She also caught up with people who knew the victim and they're telling her the violence must stop. Jordan Leroy Griffin has lived in Beaumont's North End his whole life. He says he's tired of young people killing each other over little things and hopes things start to change now. There's nothing wrong with them congregating after the club closed. Nothing wrong with that. What's wrong with it is the violence. You know, you're going to wait and kill somebody. A night of partying turned tragic on early Sunday morning, October 13th. It was disturbance that happened on the premises of the shack that carried out into the street, and a shooting actually happened in the street. 12 News was on the scene at Honey's Drive-In gas station before police arrived. And Mr. Carrington, uh, he stumbled onto the Honey Stop uh, property that was closed at the time. It was there that 24-year-old Gregory Carrington died. Leroy Griffin knew Carrington. He says the young man didn't deserve to die like that. Manable kid. He was very manable. On Monday, Beaumont police arrested 23-year-old Andre Williams II for Carrington's murder. Police say he turned himself in after seeing his picture on the news. I love my family. Sorry for their loss. Williams II tells 12 News he wasn't in the right frame of mind when he pulled the trigger. What do you mean by right, not right state of mind? I wasn't in the right state of mind. Beaumont police say they take extra steps to deter crimes like this. And we get police presence in the area to make sure that everybody does disperse on time, gets home safely, and sometimes these large crowds, sometimes they get out of hand and these uh, fights, altercations happen. Griffin hopes young people will stop killing each other. My condolences go to the family, to not just this family, to all the families that have lost a loved one over in this area behind dumb stuff. Beaumont Police and Councilman Otto and Samuels say police will be able to help deter and solve crimes like these faster if more businesses integrate their cameras into the city's real-time crime center. In studio, Kayla Shote, 12 News.